Hey, what's going on guys? Muzzafuzzy here, and today I'm bringing you some more Call of Duty gameplay commentary. Now, if you enjoy Ghosts, just sit back and enjoy the gameplay, soak it all in, take it in. It's, it's a pretty sweet little gun game. If not, you can just pretend it's not even there. Just I'm not even going to really acknowledge the gameplay, because it's nothing fancy, it's nothing special, it's just something that I have to talk over. It's something to put there for, for background visuals while I uh, spit some acoustic waves into your ear holes with my mouth noises. Because that's what this really is. I think if you boil it down, a commentary is really just some guy, that guy being me in this case, uh, saying a bunch of words into a microphone over the top of some gameplay, and then the people on the receiving end try to make sense of those words, and hopefully it carries some sort of meaning or value, or you get something out of this. And the way I look at it, I think social media in general, and I'm talking YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Vine, and whatever else comes next after that, uh, is really just one big game of telephone. It's just people mostly communicating on a platform in one direction and uh, a lot less often you'll get some comments back, you'll get some people replying, but for the most part, all the people that are watching videos, all the people that are consuming the content that's posted on social media, I'd say like 90% of them are just silent lurkers. They're just people that watch or they're just people that check it out and they don't really leave any comments, they don't leave any feedback, they don't make their voice heard. They're just there to soak it all in. And I don't have anything against that, like I don't see anything wrong with it, I think that's usually what most people do. Um, whether you're watching something on YouTube or Netflix or whatever, or you're reading something that's posted on social media site, or you're just sitting back and listening to something, like I think most people do with commentaries, uh, for the most part, like unless you have something that you feel like will add to it, if you have something to say that it's actually going to have an effect, most people just don't leave comments. I think comment sections on any website are there for the vocal minority and usually they're utilized by people that have something to complain about something to bitch about um, just something negative to say I'd say there's a lot more negativity in comment sections than anything else it's where people go to vent it's where people go to to let other people know that they're angry or that they're upset about something and it doesn't really bother me even if it's the most deep dark terrible shit you could possibly think of a lot of people just come to comment sections to to let it all out and go crazy and if it makes that person feel better if it makes them sleep better at night then whatever man it's all good let it all out i don't really care i've seen so many comments i've been on youtube for more than five years now it's not really going to bother me even if you try to break me down and completely destroy me with uh some words in a comment section I've gone on and off back and forth about reading my comments on my YouTube channel, and I'll still read comments to this day, like I'll still check out my comment sections, but by the time, like if, if one video gets way too negative, I'll just ignore that because it's not really worth my time, like what are those, what, what am I supposed to do with all that negativity? Like am I supposed to channel it and try to try to appease all the people that are hating? I don't know, I think I should probably try to please all the people that appreciate my videos and that, that realize that I've been making videos for free on the internet for five years, posting thousands and thousands of videos, and uh, I love doing it still to this day, like it's one of my favorite things to do. And even with all the terrible, horrible stuff that comes with social media, all the comments, all the negativity, all the hate, uh, at the end of the day, really, it's just a game. Social media is still treated just like a game. People are just out to get likes and favorites and comments and retweets and what else? I, it's just all these digital currencies that don't really mean anything in the long run, but to the piece of content that the person posted, it, it really means a lot. It means whether or not that thing's going to get a lot of views or, or not very many hits at all. And if you don't think people treat it like a game, just look at videos or posts of any kind that are, are based around the most controversial things you can think of. Console wars, politics, religion, anything that people know is going to get a lot of people going back and forth with each other. That's going to get more attention. It's going to get more people looking at it. It's going to have more people paying attention to it. And ultimately, that's, that's what people want. People want more clicks. People want more traffic. And everybody has a different strategy. Everybody plays the social media game a little bit differently. Like a hot girl on Facebook is going to go after as many Facebook likes on their photoshopped picture as possible. And that's completely different from like a nerdy gaming YouTuber trying to get as many views as possible, trying to get the, make the best videos that they possibly can. It's all different. Like people go after different things and people have different goals in mind. And there's scumbag tactics that are the, the easy way out, the, the shortcuts on social media. And then there's the authentic people, the people that try to be as genuine as possible and just try to keep it real um, and everything in between I think it's a matter of choice it's a matter of opinion people are gonna judge you no matter what for whatever you do so you might as well do what you really want to do with these uh, social media platforms I remember the myspace days everybody was about trying to add as many friends as possible and really all of this is just a more evolved version of that so 
I uh, hope you guys got something out of this video. If you liked it, please drop a like. Give me all that social media currency and help me get some more views and stuff. Or not. Do whatever you want. Uh, please check out all my links down below in the description. Follow me on Twitter and Facebook and stuff. I'll be posting more pictures there here soon. And thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time.